Hey guys, so let's solve for x in this equation. It has an absolute value inside of an absolute value. This should be fun. The way to get rid of this outer absolute value is we can take the stuff inside and set it equal to 16 because if all this stuff inside is equal to 16, then this will be a true statement. We can also take this inside stuff and set it equal to negative 16 because if this stuff inside here is negative 16, this will also be true. So now we have two equations, but we've managed to get rid of that outer absolute value. That's how we get rid of absolute value signs. We take whatever was inside of them and set it equal to the positive or the negative of what it's equal to. So to get this alone, I'm gonna subtract three X from both sides. This left-hand side is just gonna be negative absolute value of X and this right-hand side is gonna be 16 minus three X. Then I'm gonna divide both sides by negative one. Left-hand side is just absolute value of X. Right-hand side will be negative 16 plus three X. Let's do the same thing to this one down here. Let's subtract three X from both sides. The left-hand side is negative absolute value of X equals, and this will be negative 16 minus three X. Divide both sides by negative one and we get absolute value of X on this side. On this side, we get 16 plus three X. So we're gonna take both of these equations and split each of them up into two different equations. Take this inside x and we're gonna set it equal to this negative 16 plus three x. We're also gonna take this inside x and set it equal to the negative of this, which would be positive 16 minus three x. Same thing here, we take the x out and set it equal to that 16 plus three x. And we take the x out and set it equal to the negative of that, which is negative 16 minus three x. For both of these two equations, let's subtract three x from both sides. So the left-hand side is gonna be negative two x. And then for this side, we just bring down the 16 or bring down the negative 16. Divide everything by negative two. And this one becomes x equals eight and this one becomes x equals negative eight. And on this side, we can add three x to both sides of both these equations. X plus three x is equal to four x. These cancel, so we bring down the 16 and these cancel, so we bring down the negative 16. Divide everything by four and we get x equals four or x equals negative four. Now we have four possible solutions to try. Let's get rid of all this work. Let's make these larger and then bring them up. So now I'm gonna plug each of these values in for x, the eight, the four, the negative eight, and the negative four. Three times eight is 24. Absolute value of eight is eight. 24 minus eight is 16. The absolute value of 16 is equal to 16, so this one's good. Three times four is 12, absolute value of four is four. 12 minus four is eight, absolute value of eight is eight. Eight does not equal 16, this one's no good. Three times negative eight is negative 24, absolute value of negative eight is positive eight. Negative 24 minus eight is negative 32, absolute value of negative 32 is positive 32, 32 does not equal 16. Three times negative four is negative 12, absolute value of negative four is equal to four. Negative 12 minus four is negative 16, absolute value of negative 16 is positive 16. 16 does equal 16, so x minus four is another solution. So these are the two solutions. Solutions. And here's all the work again. How exciting. If you guys want to try more of these, I have this page on andymath.com. The link is down below in the description. Check it out and let me know if you have any other questions. I'll happily take requests.